All right, number three of the checkpoint exercise. So here we have a paragraph from a textbook on adolescence, and it says, cliques are small groups of between two and 12 individuals. The average is about five or six, generally of the same sex and of course the same age. Mm -hmm. A clique can be defined by common activities or simply by friendship. The importance of it, whatever its basis, is that it provides the main social context in which adolescents interact with one another. It is a social setting in which adolescents hang out, talk to each other, and form close friendships. The members feel they know each other well and appreciate each other more than people outside the clique do. All right, so here, kind of remember, how do we pick out our topic? Here we have a term in italics, so in special print. Um, and so here we're talking about cliques, but make sure we're specific. Who are we talking about with cliques? So cliques and adolescents, or the importance of cliques and adolescents. That could be our topic. And here, we're going to use formula number one, okay? So here we've got a sentence in here. That is a good main idea, but it doesn't have our topic. Mm -hmm. So take a look. Which sentence could that be? And so right here, it's going to be our third sentence. The importance of it, whatever its basis, is that it provides the main social context in which adolescents interact with one another. So here it uses the pronoun it. So there we're going to change it. So we'll say the importance of cliques and adolescents. Whatever its basis is that it provides the main social context, okay? So there we've just <clears throat> changed out our pronoun and put in our topic. All right, let's take a look at number four. It comes from a computing textbook, and it reads, How would you like to be turned down for a home loan because of an error in your credit history in an online database? This is much more common than you might expect. What if you could not find a job or were fired from a job because of an error in an electronic database giving you a serious criminal history? This can and has happened due to simple clerical errors. In one case, an arresting officer, while completing an arrest warrant, incorrectly recorded the social security number of a criminal. From that time forward, this arrest and the subsequent conviction became part of another person's electronic profile. This is an example of mistaken identity in which the electronic profile of one person is switched with another. And that's why, as an English teacher, I always harp on students, it is important that you always go back and look at what you write because it can have drastic effects. So here, what is our topic? Who or what are we talking about? We're talking about errors and electronic in electronic database and profiles, okay? So here, what can we infer from this paragraph? Um, what are they trying to tell us about those kind of errors? So here we'll basically use formula three um, to kind of infer all that. So errors in electronic, electronic databases and profiles can result in the spread of inaccurate, damaging information about an individual, okay? So that's pretty simple and straight to the point. Okay, so remember when you look at this, there's several questions up here. So those would not be our, our um, main idea. It's the main point that they're trying to get at in this paragraph. All right, I'm going to stop the video there and then we'll finish up with number five and video number three.